Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Codetober Day 13. Lucky Friday 13 on October. Nice. Anyway, in today's video, I have seen a lot of questions about this actually, how to run two or more projects from AnyPoint Studio at the same time. So let's do that then. First, I'm going to create, let's say, three projects. You know what? I'm going to create an experience, a process, and a system project so you can see like how to connect them over here. And then we're going to be able to run them all together and test. Sounds good. All right. They're going to be super simple. It's just like a logger or something. I'm not going to actually connect to external systems, but you get the idea. And because I have no creativity, I'm just going to put Xcode over X because of the experience layer. Now, normally for the experience layer, you would import the RAML and everything and have everything connected to that like API specification, but I'm just going to skip that just to demonstrate how to run the three projects at the same time. All right, here we have it. And then I'm going to add my listener. For now, I'm just going to add the global um, elements in this same file because I just want to make this quick. But normally you would use like, you know, best practices, put a global XML and put all your global elements in that global XML. You would also use properties to externalize all the values instead of hard coding them. But I am in a crunch time, so I'm just going to do this really quick. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to use 0, 0, 0, 0, and the port is going to be 8081. And then on the path down here, I'm just going to put literally just slash X because I have no creativity. Then I'm just going to set a payload and it just says inside the experience layer. Then I'm going to add a logger to output that in the console as well. Here I'm just outputting the payload. Beautiful. Save. And that's all for the experience layer. Now let's create another project. This is going to be PicoTober. Notice that I am still in the same workspace in studio. So I have here Xcodetober and then I'm going to create another one called Picotober, which is going to be the process layer, the middle layer. And then I'm going to do the same thing. So add a listener. But now, because I am going to run this in local, instead of putting here port 8081, I'm going to put port 8082 just to change it. My path is going to be dash P set payload inside the process layer and log the payload to see it in the console. Perfect. Save all, close and minimize. So now we're going to create the last one, mill project. This is now S code over for the system layer, which is the last layer that is going to connect to the external systems in theory. Now we do the same thing. We add the listener. The port here is now going to be 8083. Set payload inside the system layer. Forgot the path is going to be slash s. And finally, the logger that just outputs the payload. Now we have here our three different projects, our p code over for process, s code over for system, and x code over for experience. This is just a random naming convention that I took, but you can also name them like x api code over or x dash code over or whatever. Like the naming conventions don't really matter. Just make sure that you specify that these are the specific layers. Otherwise, like your team and everyone is going to suffer. Anyway, after that, just go here to the run option. You should have it on the top somewhere and then select run configurations. If you were to debug the three of them together, you could also select debug configurations instead of run configurations. In this case, we're just going to select run configurations. Now, I'm going to assume that you don't have any configurations here. Um, or if you have one, you will see what I'm going to tell you in a moment. Or you can just create a new one, whatever works best for you. So here in Mule Configurations, sorry, Mule Applications, just right click on it and select New Configuration. And now in the new configuration, you will have these options right here. So here, let's rename this to code over suite or something, just so we know what we are running here. And then just select your three projects. 
Make sure that you have all of the three projects open in your package explorer. Otherwise, they won't appear here. They have to be open. And then, of course, you can configure all of the other things just as you would do for a normal application. If you don't have any other configurations like environment variables or stuff like that, then you can just go ahead and click on apply and then you can click on run. This will start the regular deployment process to run this in your local. And after a while, you should be able to see your three applications listed here with the domain default and the status deployed, just as you would do with any other regular application, but times three. Now, if we call the URL, in this case, localhost881 slash X, we will be able to see inside the experience layer. Let me make this bigger so you can see it clearer inside the experience layer. I cannot call P and I cannot call S because the, those don't exist for this. So if I want to call P, for example, then I would have to go to the port 8082. And if I were to call S, then I would have to call the port 8083. And you know what? Just for the sake of it, let me change all of the paths to have the same path so you can see how this differs a lot. Okay, I'm going to put slash test for process slash test for system and slash test for experience. And now that you have your setup, you can simply click on this uh, button right here to run. And this already tells me that it's going to run the code over suite, which is the one that I just created. So you can just click on that and it will start running. You don't have to go to run configurations all this time unless you have to change some settings out there. All right, this has been deployed. So let's try again. Localhost 8081 slash test. We are inside the experience layer. If we change to port two, then we are inside the process layer. And if we change to port three, now we are inside the system layer. So that is how you run several applications at the same time. The trick is to use different ports in your HTTP, or if you have some other kind of stuff, just make sure you change your ports. Now these um, process system and experience applications are not talking to each other. I just set them up separately for you to see. But in the next video, I'm going to show you how to connect them to each other in case you have some questions about that, because why not? All right, that's all for day 13. And I will see you tomorrow for day 14 of Gotober. Bye.